So it's been about a month since I started adding refined sugar to my already way too sweet fruit that never existed in nature. Oh, it's only sour. It's hybridized. So like I'm going way opposite your advice. I'm like your son who went out in winter without a jacket. That's what and I'm not gonna get a cold. The power is within us. We can make this better. Forget divide and conquer. Weather the storm together. So I've been measuring my blood sugar daily after every meal, just making tweaks, starch versus fruit, added sugars, what makes the difference? Do I have to exercise first? I've done many different things. I've learned some stuff. If your blood sugar is below 140 two hours after eating your meal, you do not have diabetes, you're good. I disagree with you. I think, because I've seen my blood sugar go way below that, below 100 two hours after, so it's possible to fully digest your meal, suck up all the sugar, boom. These numbers, they sound more like mainstream numbers to me. If I'm being honest with you, it's like the pizza eating people who are just like, my blood sugar, okay, 140, that's a bit high, Jerry. And the doctor's like, okay, I see a lot of people with those numbers. So th this is the new normal now, 140. That's high, that's not good. So I've noticed, when I eat giant meals, even too much fruit, the other day, I had a mango meal, as many mangoes as I could fit in my face. And I went for a long ass walk, came back, my blood sugar, 5.6, which is that number. Perfect for diabetes freaks, but not for my perfect ideal body. My ascended fruitarian body would have had way lower sugar. So in my opinion, I think I just ate too many mangoes. They're too sweet and fun, and I can eat way too many, and it's just the amount of calories for what I needed that day. Say that was probably a 1200 calorie meal. That's a lot, that's a lot of sugar. So like these people who tell you, it's high carb, low fat, no matter what, if as long as you have your fat low or zero, you'll absorb the sugar, you can eat unlimited sugar, I'm not seeing that in my body. I'm seeing if I eat too much, my sugar stays high. And yes, that number is in your range of perfection, but not my perfect range. Our blood sugar, in my opinion, should be roughly 90 all the time. Then you eat, it spikes, it should come back to 90 after two hours. That's the new normal. None, none of this 140 stuff. That's weird people with cheese crumpets muffins for dessert. So this whole lifestyle of I'm gonna eat fruit for breakfast, add sugar to it, and then for lunch is a smoothie with sugar in it, and then dinner is gonna be this starch-based thing with a sugar dessert. Like, that's a lot of carbohydrates. Are you using it? Do you need that much? And if not, what do you do? Do you just eat less food? Or do you replace that with more like vegetables or proteins and fats? But then the more proteins and fats you eat, the more insulin resistant you become. The experts will tell you if you overeat carbs, your body's just gonna turn it into body heat, it's gonna burn it off, it's fine. I think in my body, that doesn't happen. It gets fed to parasites and bad bacteria that give me unbaby boy like skin. That's what I've noticed. Still getting like the odd breakout, it's almost perfect. My skin is almost great. It's just the odd zit will happen, like right here or here or here. And it's just like, oh, okay, I have problems, right? So it's like, I'm feeding bad bacteria. That's my theory. I could be wrong. But the whole smashing the carbs at any given moment and just like run until you can eat more carbs. A lot of these people, they're very active just because they're addicted to food and they know they can eat more. And as long as they earn it, they can pig out. It's fun, it's a fun lifestyle. You go run, you come back and eat, then you run again, then you run to buy food, and then you come back and eat it, and you run to get more. So I did a couple experiments. One night, I ate an entire head of romaine lettuce, and then a bunch of broccoli with potatoes. After two hours, my blood sugar was 6.3, and I was like, that's lower than it's usually been. Due to adding all that vegetable fiber that filled up my gut, and then I was not able to eat as much potatoes as I would have previously. So like if you just eat potatoes, you'll probably eat 1400 calories worth. 
Whereas if you stuff your gut full of lettuce and broccoli, then it's like, okay, only 700 calories. Wow. Huh? You get more protein, less carbs, less fungus in your face. Last night, I didn't have the lettuce. I ran out. So I was like, okay, let's just eat to satiation. I had potatoes with beets and broccoli, but I was able to eat a lot more, I think. And then my sugar after two hours was 8.4. That's just outside of the normal that's already not normal. That was diabetes waiting to happen. So if you eat meals like that, just satiation, a starch solution, eat as much as you want, add sugar to it. We have to come with some common sense here. I want to believe that if my fat is non-existent, I can eat as much sugar as I want. But the reality is we can only store so much in our human bodies. So like your muscle glycogen can hold a bunch, your liver, but like if you eat a huge meal for breakfast, you fill those up, then what? Have you done anything to drain them? So like that's why I work out every day and then I walk and I, I'm active, but like even that, I don't think we need that much food. We eat way too much. Most of the high carb people say that your metabolism increases when you feed yourself, like you're overfeeding on carbs. I think that's just gonna age you faster. That's my theory. Increased metabolism, increased aging. Like picture it, an engine. You're an engine and you're working at a certain speed. You're going 20 kilometers an hour. You're moseying along. That's good, you're gonna last a good while, but the high metabolism people, they're flooring it. It's like, boom and like they use more fuel and they, everything is used up and there's repairs needed, all kinds of using. Nothing lasts longer the more you use it. Name one thing that's like, oh, the more I used it, the better it was. That's why I still think a more calorie restriction mindset, not restricting it on purpose, but just like filling up with more vegetable matter and you end up eating less calories because you can't even fit it in your gut hole that should lead to longevity. I'm just throwing it out there. Cause Eli, he looks great. He feels great. He eats like what, one or two meals a day. They're tiny fruit meals. You have to work up to that. And then you're like almost breatharian. That's the type of path that makes more sense, right? Breatharians, rather than people who eat food, you're disgusting. I'm just saying, I've been trying these theories, eating lots of carbs and my sugars remain high if I eat too much. It's not some magical thing like, no fat means all the sugar just gets sucked up. We have a limit. There's a storage, we're a bucket. You pour too much water in the bucket, it overflows into acne. So it's like, I don't see the solution here. It's not just ram it in at all times. So we work on tweaks, make a little, just more vegetables, less starch. We're working. But for those of you on this high carb lifestyle, let me know your thoughts about all this. Can you just smash in the carbs with no consequences and doesn't matter how much you eat, you just love is happening all the time. Like I will sleep way more if I eat this giant amount of potatoes, it'll be like nine or 10 hours sleep. And it's like, holy cow, what happened there? That's a lot, like my like, body's working too hard to digest heavy ass fruit meals. So like these numbers should be below 140. I don't trust you, I don't like you, you're wrong my number is better below 90 or you have aids yeah so just thumb up the video we learned a lot that was worth the thumbs up some are gonna thumb it down but it's because you've kicked an egg why'd you do it you knew it would break that's a mess it's a mess oh the seagull's gonna eat it i helped him did you helped him not be able to carry the thing away and then he gets eaten by a bear. I don't want that blood on my hands. I'll leave after you donate Bitcoin. Subscribe for my man, I'll say next.